I assume you have not seen my husband? I? No. You seem distressed, madame. As you might be, Count, if you awoke, as I did this morning, to find yourself husbandless, daughterless, and penniless. The trial of the villain Benedetto Benedetti, known in all the fashionable salon across the capital as one Andrea Cavalcanti. Penniless? Dongla has ransacked my personal accounts, stolen all my jewellery, even taken my wedding ring. And now he leaves me to face the dishonour of his bankruptcy and this trial alone. There are even death threats. You have my sympathies, madame, but I still do not understand how such Because a... your dear friend Baron Dongla is a spineless, greedy little criminal with the conscience of a reservoir rat. Ah. 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 Is that your last word on the matter? I do not know what else you would have me say. I would have you reach out to me. Order! Order! And now... Andrea Cavalcanti is led into the dock. Perhaps we should continue this conversation after the trial. His face, a radiant sun of smiles, as he waves to all his former friends, who are eagerly gathered to witness what surely has to be the final act of his disgrace and ruin. Will the prisoner please identify himself? Oh, the prisoner would be only too pleased to do so if the prisoner had the first idea as to who he actually was. <laughs> Excuse me. In fact, I was hoping you might be able to give me some pointers in that regard, Monsieur de Villefort. Young man, if you do not wish to be held in contempt of this court, I would advise you to attend to these murder proceedings with the seriousness they deserve. <laughs> Ooh la la. Get him. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh, you will do, that's for sure. Now, in order that we finally sort out this name business once and for all, I call one Monsieur Bertuccio to the stand. Marseille? Yes, Monsieur Morel, Marseille. The Count asks only that you trust him. My Valentine is dead. The Count and I have no further business. And the Count mourns your loss, but requests that you join him in a month from now. October 5th, in fact. May I ask who it is that I am speaking to? My name is Ade. Am I not lovely, most honoured friends? The Count's companion? His most devoted friend and servant. Yeah, he said you were his slave. It is important that you do as the Count politely requests. He suggested you rendezvous with him outside your father's old office. The Count was confident you would remember exactly where that was. And the purpose of this rendezvous? Please state your name for the court, please. Must wait until then. My name is Bertuccio. And who do you work for, Bertuccio? And now at last, most honoured friends, we have a name for the man we last saw with Andrea in his prison cell. I work for the Count of Monte Cristo. And before that? Before that, I worked as a gardener for the Samaran in Otoy. And the Samaran were... The parents of Crown Prosecutor Gerard Villefort's first wife, Renée. Thank you. Now, may I take you back 20 years to the night of August the 3rd, 1820? What has any of this to do with the charges the defendant currently faces? Begging the court's indulgence, I only ask for patience, and all will become clear. Well, I sincerely hope so, for your sake, young man. Then, may I proceed? You may. But be advised, I insist that you respect the formalities of this court. Now, proceed. But what do we see in the eyes of Gérard de Villefort? Monsieur Bertuccio. As he looks upon the gardener, Bertuccio. What can you tell me about that night? A man he hoped never to see again. I can remember that a baby was born that night. Why, yes, most honoured friends. A baby that his father tried to bury beneath a tree. Fear. Baroness? That man there, Count. That Bertuccio. He says he works for you. That is correct. In what capacity? As my servant. But what has he to do with Andrea? What indeed? And now the Count's eyes shine. With what? With victory. As Bertuccio? And what did you do for that baby, Bertuccio? Tells everything. I dug him up and saved him. Sent him to live with my sister, Danielle. And the father of the child? 
When he saw what I had done, he gave me money to give to my sister for its upkeep. And was there a condition? There was. That I never divulge the baby's true identity to anyone. And is the father of that unfortunate infant present in this court today? He is, sir. I'll point him out, please. Brett, this past has gone on for long enough. It is Monsieur de Villefort himself. It is Monsieur de Villefort that attempted to bury a baby alive, sir. The court is adjourned. They said the court is adjourned! But the mob pays no attention to him who was once the most feared of all Crown prosecutors as he numbly raises his gavel up and down like a now stringless... And is that unfortunate child present in this courtroom today? Worthless. Did you not hear me? Marionette. The bastard child is here, sir. As is his mother. Be good enough to identify the mother. She sits beside the Count of Monte Cristo. What? Ermine Dongla! No! 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 <coughs> Court. Now, be good enough to identify that bastard son. Why, he is you yourself, sir. You are the child of Hermine Donglar and Gerard de Villefort. Are you suggesting to this court that yesterday this woman all but married her illegitimate son to her legitimate daughter? I am, sir. We need not dwell on facts. We already know. There will be order. I said, order! Please! The mysterious disappearance of Andrea Cavalcanti. Well, that all went exactly to your plan, didn't it, Batuccio? Just walk. Very nice and smooth. I like smooth. Wait. <laughs> to be false face when you heard our news. <laughs> Priceless. Is this about the Count's furnished for my escape? You have much to answer for, Andrea. Excuse me? <coughs> oh! Yes. Take your hands from off me! Ow! Now, I want you to be in no doubt, Benedetto. This is not revenge for that scumbag cat. Who are you? This is for sending my sister to an early grave. She, who never gave you anything but a mother's love. My poor Tanya. What are you doing? Untie my hands, please! No! No, I'll be! <laughs> No need we dwell upon the scandal now heaped upon the disgraced house of Donglar. But where, you ask, is the Count? Monsieur de Villefort. Why, he is now a shadow among shadows in that always somewhat gloomy house on the Champs Elysees. Who's that there? Witnessing at first hand. Abbe Bassoni. The cataclysm he has engineered. Does one only ever find you in the presence of death? I came to say a prayer for Valentine. Well, then pray for me too. Pray for us all. Pray for? Where are the servants? Gone. Fled. You were alone? Apparently so. I heard about today's events. The court. If there's anything you want... Do you like chocolates, Abby? Edouard, like chocolate, shall I see if I can find you one? Thank you, but that is not the reason for my... Ah, oh, you're here to say prayers for my daughter, yeah? And to tell you that your debt to me is now paid in full. My debt to you? To Edmund Dantes. To... A falsely Ed denounced sailor you consigned to 14 years of hell in the Chateau d'If. What on earth are you doing? Showing you who I am. Count. What is... Explain yourself, sir. My name is Edmund Dantes. Edmund? The man whose life you destroyed with no more thought than you'd give to swatting dead a fly. Dantes. Dantes. The, 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 the sailor with the letter. The letter addressed to your father, the Bonapartist General Noitier. The letter which, had it reached its destination, would have finished your career forever. The letter you burned as you burned me with your false reassurances. But that was 25 years ago. Yesterday. And you have waited all this time to... I have waited 
to destroy you as you destroyed me utterly and completely. Then you have accomplished all you set out to do, Dauntess. And more. So much more. More? Come into my son's nursery, please. What? Surely you don't hesitate. Well, I have something... The door, sir. Oh, no. No. I trust that you're pleased with your handiwork. I... No, I had no hand. But you... You gave my wife detailed instructions in the preparations of poisons, did you not? Doubtless, that was part of your revenge, was it not? But I did not envisage... That she would poison Edouard and then take her own life. No. <laughs> Quite a picture, isn't it? Mother and son, clasped tenderly together. You see, I did exactly as you told me, Count. I confronted Eloise. I told her she would hang for murdering Valentine. And look, she has saved us both the trouble. There may be something I can do for the boy. Does it keep away from my son? My son! son. God forgive me. Now, if there is no further business between us, I'd like some time alone with... With my family. <laughs> my family. <laughs> I really haven't the time today. Thank you, Monsieur Jacopo. I am here on the Count's business, Baroness Dongla. I no longer recognise that name. And I think the Count has done me enough harm for one lifetime, don't you? He instructed me to give you this. No. Thank you. It's a first-class ticket to America. This... The Count exiling me to America? He does not consider it so. There is this, too. A bag of diamonds? And rubies. And <gasps> emeralds. Please. Take the ticket, madame. With the Count's compliments. Yes, Mama. There's something I needed to drink. Well, what is it? Oh, don't go to her, boy. Stay here with me. Mets, mets. Like Valentine's. Oh, get away from her. Don't interfere, Dante. She will kill the boy. Happy for if she will kill the boy if he drinks. Take the cup in your hands, Edouard. I said there would be responsibilities. And drink. Did I not? Tastes funny, Mama. Oh, no. No, Edward. No. Oh. Master. Master. We have to save the boy, Eddie. We have to save. You were screaming in your sleep. No. And you came to me. As I will always come to you. Always. No, from this moment on, you have no further obligation to me, dear Hede. I release you. And if I do not wish to be released? Not wish to be. I earn only for your comfort, Master. But I am so old, so beyond redemption. Then you do not love me. Say so and I will leave. Oh, Hede, Hede, I have done, I have done the most terrible thing. You are too harsh. People will speak in awe of what you have accomplished, my Master. <sighs> What news of de Villefort? He is insane. I want him well looked after. The finest doctors... Have already been found. Then only Dongla remains. <laughs> and remember what we said about clothes last time? Mm, you first, Signor Franco. Dongla has been observed. Rome is unseasonably warm for October. Just you wait till I get my hands on you, you... You little minx. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now then, Sylvia, look what Daddy's brought. Huh? Oh, 